All righty. So welcome everybody to ArcadeCon. We're so excited to be getting together online to talk with you all about teaching and learning with Make Code Arcade. Um, but first I thought what I would do is introduce a little bit about myself. Um, so my name is Jacqueline Russell. Uh, this is a photo of me with the Make Code team uh, several years ago, working together in our office uh, on the Microsoft campus in Redmond, Washington. Um, my role on the team is as a product manager, which uh, basically means that I try to make sure we build the right product for our customers. Um, and so it involves a lot of customer research, market research, you know, working with our design and engineering folks to help scope and prioritize features. Um, and really throughout my career, my passion and the mission that's really driven me is to use technology to help people learn and teach. And really the most satisfying thing for me is when I see a teacher be able to pick up and easily use our products to create these transformative aha learning moments for students. It's really super, super satisfying. All right, so uh, Kiki asked me to give a little bit of background on Make Code, so I thought I would take you a little bit through, uh, you know, why this product exists at Microsoft. <laughs> so, um, so let me let me start at the basic fundamentals of, you know, what is the purpose of education? Uh, and I love this quote from Malcolm X, where he said, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. And, you know, that is even more true now, you know, in this very uncertain world we're living in where change is happening so fast, you know, we don't know what jobs will look like 10, 20 years from now. Um, but one thing we do know is that technology will become even more ubiquitous and influential uh, in our daily lives and across the workforce, no matter what job you do. Uh, and so it's even more important than ever to make sure that we're opening doors to opportunities for all young people to be able to contribute and to shape this digital future. Um, but we know that, you know, a lot of students are being left behind. Um, these are stats from the, the code.org report. Uh, last year, only 6% of high school students in the US take a computer science class. And of that, only a third are young women. And so this is really generating this skills gap between you know, creators and consumers of technology. And so you know, we really need to make learning about technology and computing exciting and fun and relevant. And we want you know, wait lists for computer science classes. Um, and so the vision for Microsoft MakeCode is to inspire new generations of technology creators. You know, technology is such a powerful tool for expressing student creativity, for um, helping you know students build things that they care about, and so we want to make sure that our approach to computer science is is hands on, it's playful, it's personal. You know, it taps into that student agency and creativity. You know, while also teaching core computational thinking concepts. Um, so when we first create, very first created MakeCode, you know, we took a lot of inspiration from the constructionism learning theory. This was made popular by Seymour Papert, um, the creator of Logo and author of Mindstorms. And he actually built a lot of his ideas on, um, on a lot of the theory of the Swiss child psychologist Jean, Jean Piaget. And you can see in this table here, you know, there are several ways that constructionism differs from the more traditional instruction-based learning philosophy. Um, and Papert really believed that learning is the construction of knowledge within each student's mind. So much like kind of connecting the dots or erecting the walls of a house. Uh, and because knowledge is constructed by the learner, it's inherently extremely personal reflecting the individual's own personal experiences, interests, beliefs. Um, and, you know, some of the other ways it differs is it really values purposeful play, tinkering, trial and error processes versus sort of linear following a strict curriculum uh, pathway. 
And so that was really the inspiration for our product name when we sat down and came, you know, tried to come up with a name for our product. We wanted to create a tool that would combine the magic of making with the power of code. And thus, make code was born. All right, so let's talk about Arcade. So um, in 2019, we kind of turned our focus from physical computing and robotics to games, and we created Make Code Arcade. Um, Make Code Arcade is a retro game development environment where students can code their own arcade games. Um, and I think we know that game development can actually be very intimidating and difficult to get started. And so um, our first thought was, hey, we want to build the easiest way to create a game. And um, objectively speaking, I think we have, you know, with just eight blocks of code and a few pixel graphics, students can create very, you know, compelling, simple games. Um, and so, you know, a lot of people ask me, well, why games as a learning format? So, and I'll tell you a story. So one day I was um, doing some research and I, at the local high school and I kind of camped out in the hallway outside of the com co computer science classroom. I was working with the teacher there. Um, and I just asked a bunch of students who were walking by in the hallway some questions uh, from a survey. So one of the questions I asked was, why weren't they taking this computer science class? And this is some of their responses, you know? Um, computer science is boring. Only the geeky boys take that class, you know. Um, don't you have to be super smart to take CS? And, you know, none of my friends signed up for it, so I don't want to take it, right? Um, and then I asked them, like, hey, do you like games? Do you play games? And, of course, you know, everyone was like, oh, yeah, I love Minecraft. Let me show you what I built. And um, I, 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 play this, I play these games with my friends after school. We play together. Um, I feel like I can be myself when I'm playing my games. I can create my own characters and worlds. Um, and so games really makes computer science personal, relevant, fun, creative, and collaborative. Um, and it also ties into a future career path. Um, and, you know, everyone loves games. It's not just like the hardcore gamer in their basement, right? Old people, young people, you know, men, women. Uh, this is some, just some data from the Entertainment Software Association, but 66% uh, of Americans play video games every week. Um, and 71% of kids play video games with, you know, a pretty equitable gender split. So, um, and I love this quote. I just put this quote in from Obama here, encouraging us all to be creators of the things we love. You know, don't just buy a new video game, make one. And so that's my inspirational message for today, it is for all of us to make and code the world we want.